Finding a historically important artifact is only part of the work for any archaeologist. Once something is uncovered, the real task is figuring out its story, why it was made, who used it, and what it meant. But sometimes, even with all the tools and experts in the world, they're left with more questions than answers. That's why some of the most fascinating archaeological discoveries in recent years remain completely unexplained. So, join us for today's video as we're going to explore the 15 most mysterious recent finds and artifacts that scientists still can't explain. Number 15. Military Mansion in Rome. While tunneling for a new metro line in 2018, workers struck something that instantly stopped the project. 14 rooms buried beneath Rome, frozen in time and paved with opulence. It wasn't just ruin. This was a second-century Roman military officer's villa, buried deliberately and sealed off from the centuries that followed. The floors are still vivid with mosaics, some walls are lined with marble, one room even shows signs of engineered heating, an ancient precursor to underfloor warmth. In the center stands a courtyard with a fountain, undisturbed since the empire stood at its height. The reason for its burial remains unanswered. Maybe it was hidden to protect it from a threat. Maybe the owner disappeared, and the home was sealed out of ritual. What's certain is that the home wasn't lost to time. It was placed beneath it. As Rome's modern metro pushes forward, archaeologists have raced to document and preserve what they can. The new station may soon sit atop the remains of forgotten privilege. Our history is just a mystery. Number Virzen. Ulfert Viking Swords. Between the 9th and 11th centuries, these guys carried swords marked with the name Ulfbert, etched with clean, deliberate strokes into steel so pure it shouldn't have existed at the time. The blades were stronger, more flexible, and more durable than any European weapon of their age, closer in composition to modern industrial steel than anything from the medieval forges of the time. Out of over 170 recovered, only a few are genuine. Most are imitations, attempts by other smiths to replicate a design they didn't fully understand. The origin of the Ulfbert name remains unclear. Some believe it referred to a specific family of master swordsmiths. Others argue it was a brand, with secret forging techniques guarded like treasure. What's undeniable is that these weapons were ahead of their time, forged with technology no one in medieval Europe was supposed to have. The real mystery isn't just the swords themselves, it's how someone, somewhere, broke the limits of metallurgy centuries before anyone else caught up. Number 13. Sangxing Dui Masks of China. When workers in Sichuan, China, accidentally struck a pit in 1929, they weren't prepared for what they'd find. We mean just look at them. Buried beneath the earth was a forgotten civilization, and with it, dozens of massive bronze masks with exaggerated features, bulging eyes and alien-like expressions. These weren't relics of any known Chinese dynasty, they came from a culture now called Sang Dui, a people whose art, architecture and religious symbols seem to have developed in isolation. The masks are intricate, covered in gold leaf, and entirely unlike anything from surrounding regions. No records mention them, no legends pass them down, and yet they had access to large-scale bronze casting technology over 3,000 years ago. Since that first discovery, more pits have been uncovered, each more surreal than the last. Temples, elephant tusks, jade relics, but still no written language, no names, no origin. It's as if the Sang Dewey rose suddenly, crafted a legacy in silence, and disappeared without leaving a trace. Number 12. Quello Mayan Ruins. Long before the towering pyramids and elaborate temples that defined later Maya cities, there was Quello, a village where maize croppers built humble homes and left behind fragments of their everyday lives. Discovered in 1975 by archaeologist Norman Hammond, the site turned out to be far older than anyone expected. Radiocarbon dating placed its origin more than 4,500 years ago, making it possibly the oldest known Mayan settlement. This didn't sit well with scholars at the time, who pushed back hard against the findings, 
but the evidence stood firm. Unlike the grand city-states that came later, Coelho offers a more intimate glimpse into the early Maya world, families living with domesticated dogs, hunting deer and burying their dead with unusual rituals. One burial in particular, a decapitated teenage girl laid to rest with her head on her chest beside two ceramic bowls, continues to raise more questions than answers. Coelho doesn't just predate Maya history, it quietly disrupts everything we thought we knew about how that history began. Number 11. Strange Horde. Back in 2018, off the coast of Kent, England, divers stumbled onto the wreck of the Ruswijk, a Dutch East India ship, lost in 1740. It wasn't just any wreck, it carried a mind-bendingly puzzling cargo, thimbles, silver coins, and odd clumps of rusted metal that refused to give up their identity. Years of corrosion had fused the objects into thick concretions, masking any details that might explain what the crew was transporting or hiding. A 2020 deal brought high-resolution X-ray tech into the mix, offering the first real chance to see beneath the rust. The hope? Well, to find evidence of coins drilled with tiny holes, proof that passengers smuggled forbidden silver into Batavia by sewing them into clothing. Coin import was outlawed to protect the colonial economy, but people found ways around that. If confirmed, this would turn a long-suspected rumor into historical fact. What sits under those crusts might not just be hidden wealth, but proof of silent defiance aboard a ship that never reached its destination. All right, now, let's move to Number 9. Crocodile Stone of Laos In the province of Champasak, near the worn remnants of the Wat Pho Temple, lies a massive stone slab locals call the Crocodile Stone. It doesn't roar any answers, it just lies there ancient, cracked, carved, and oddly shaped. Its outline vaguely resembles a crocodile, but closer inspection has led some to see a stretched-out human figure laid flat on its back. If that's true, it opens a darker possibility. The stone might not have been decorative, it might have been ceremonial, used in sacrificial rituals practiced by the Chenla Empire, which ruled the region over a thousand years ago. The temple dates to the 12th century, but the stone seems older, possibly from the 5th. No written record connects it to human sacrifice, but oral traditions and ritual artifacts nearby make the theory hard to dismiss. What adds to its mystery is that no other stones like it exist in Laos or Cambodia. It stands alone, created for a purpose we can still only guess at. Number 9. Pocket Sundial. In the mid-1700s, Excavators working near Pompeii unearthed a small, oddly shaped Roman artifact buried under layers of ash from Mount Vesuvius. At first glance, it looked like a discarded tool, or maybe even a warped kitchen utensil. For decades, scholars couldn't figure out what it was, until a team in 2017 recreated it using 3D printing. That's when its strange pork chop silhouette started making sense. It wasn't a weapon or a carving knife. It might have been something far more elegant, a pocket sundial. Hung by a string and angled toward the sun, the object could cast shadows across carved grid lines, mapping out months and hours with surprising accuracy. The vertical lines tracked the calendar, the horizontal ones told the time, it's crude but clever, proof the Romans weren't just building roads and aqueducts, but the mystery still lingers. If this was a common tool, why is there only one? After all these years no other example has surfaced. It's either an ancient prototype, or a forgotten invention lost to time. Number 8. Qing Dynasty Ring Abacus Somewhere between mathematics and miniature art sits the Qing Dynasty Ring Abacus, a 300-year-old counting device small enough to wear on your finger. Less than half an inch tall, it's fully functional, with tiny beads strung on golden rods. The catch? You'd need a needle or pin to move the beads because no human finger is small enough to do the job. Traders wore these when quick calculations were needed face to face, and for their time they were more than just clever, they were essential. Each one known as a Zhu Suan was a silent tool for commerce. Yet the real enigma is how they were made. There's no record of their production. No sketches, no manuals, no mention of the craftsmanship involved. 
Making something this intricate today would still require magnification and precision tools. So how did they manage it centuries ago without industrial help? Some believe a single artisan created them all. Others think entire techniques have simply vanished. Well, either way, their precision still baffles scientists. Number 7. Abandoned City of Old Dongola Standing on the banks of the Nile, Old Dongola was once the beating heart of Makuria, a Nubian kingdom that flourished between the 4th and 14th centuries. Its ruins still whisper of wealth and ritual, churches turned into mosques, stone palaces now reduced to wind-battered outlines, fragments of a city built to endure, yet it didn't. By the late 1300s, the city was empty, abandoned with no sign of war, no flooding, no plague-ravaged bones in the soil. The Book of Knowledge, penned decades later, suggests the place had already been deserted by 1348 its people gone without explanation. Strangely, Genoese merchants arrived not long after and briefly resettled the ruins, only to vanish themselves, leaving behind the same silence. It's a double mystery, two waves of people who chose to walk away from a place built for permanence. Today, archaeologists continue to sift through its dust, but so far, Old Dongola keeps its reasons sealed behind crumbling walls and forgotten roads. Number 6. Diki Spheres of Costa Rica Scattered across the southern jungles of Costa Rica, hundreds of massive stone spheres sit half-buried in the earth, some as small as cannonballs, others wide enough to fill a doorway, perfectly round, impossibly smooth, and weighing several tons each, they date back nearly 1,500 years. But there are no blueprints, no tools, no inscriptions, just the spheres. The Dickies culture, responsible for their creation, left behind no written history to explain why they made them or how they shaped them with such eerie precision. Some were found aligned in rows or geometric patterns, but many have been displaced or stolen over time. Theories swirl like NB, astronomical tools, status symbols, markers for burial sites, but none hold up completely. What remains certain is that these weren't just rocks, they were crafted with intention, effort, and purpose. But when a civilization vanishes before the colonizers arrive, so does the context. Now the spheres sit silently across fields, museum gardens, and riverbeds, solid, stubborn remnants of an untold story. Number 5. Blow Jungfrun Island Rituals Blow Jungfrun Island, off Sweden's east coast, isn't the kind of place locals recommend for a weekend hike. Legends label it cursed, haunted by witches, and home to ancient powers best left undisturbed. Archaeologists naturally couldn't resist. What they found in the caves scattered across the island wasn't smoke and mirrors, it was real, and it was old. Inside one cave, a flat stone altar sits beneath a ceiling of rough granite. In another, what looks like a stage, appears carved by hand, complete with grinding stones nearby. These aren't Viking-era constructions, they date back 9,000 years, deep into the Mesolithic period. Even stranger is the massive stone labyrinth arranged near the shore, its purpose entirely unknown. No one's dared move the stones though. Local superstition says doing so triggers a curse, and no archaeologist seems eager to test that theory. Some dismiss the stories, others lean in. But one thing is certain, rituals happened here, long before memory, and nobody knows exactly what was being summoned. Number 4. Orca Geoglyph of Peru Carved across 240 feet of desert soil in Peru's Palpa region lies a figure few ever expected to find, a massive orca, its fins stretched wide, its head marked with teeth and motion, and yet no one documented its presence until 2017. The geoglyph is believed to date back nearly 2,000 years, predating the Nazca lines, yet it somehow slipped through the cracks of discovery despite early aerial photographs taken in the 1970s. That original pilot didn't log its location, and the image gathered dust for decades. 
When researchers finally rediscovered the site, the carving was faded and partially buried under centuries of erosion. The Orca likely held deep spiritual weight for the cultures of ancient coastal Peru, an apex predator, viewed not as an animal but a force, whether it was a tribute, a warning or an offering, remains unclear. Now that it's been cleaned and preserved, we can finally see it clearly, but understanding it is another matter entirely. Number 3. The Antikythera Mechanism Pulled from a shipwreck off a Greek island in 1901, this thing looked like nothing more than a chunk of corroded bronze. But inside that rusted frame was a network of interlocking gears that should not have existed in that era. Dating back over 2,000 years, the mechanism appears to be an analog computer capable of tracking planetary movements, eclipses, and even Olympic events with eerie precision. For decades, it sat misunderstood in a museum display case. Then, technology caught up, scans and reconstructions revealed a level of astronomical and mechanical complexity that rivaled clocks from the 18th century. Ancient Greek scientists, it seems, weren't just philosophers, they were engineers operating on a level no one suspected, but the catch, no one knows who built it or how. It's a standalone piece. No earlier models, no blueprints, no surviving references, just one machine from the sea, whispering about a civilization more advanced than we ever gave them credit for, and then vanishing back into silence. Number 2. Camel Carvings of al Jaf. Hidden for centuries beneath the restless dunes of Saudi Arabia's al Jaf province, a collection of life-sized camel carvings somehow went unnoticed until 2016. Weathered but unmistakable, the figures are cut into open sandstone cliffs alongside horses, donkeys, and what may be long-forgotten hybrid animals. The detail is striking. Muscle tone, bridles, posture, and proportion, all etched with a confidence that suggests the artist knew their subjects well. Despite the scale and visibility, no settlement has ever been found nearby. No remnants of tools, no pottery, no campfires just the figures, carved in the middle of nowhere. The sands likely shielded them from erosion, preserving what should have worn away long ago. Estimated to be around 2,000 years old, the carvings sit in silence, without even a name attached to their makers. What purpose they served, religious, ceremonial, symbolic, remains buried deeper than any archaeologist has dug. Sometimes art survives, but the context that gave it life disappears without a trace. Number 1. Padman Apaswami Temple Vault B. In the Indian state of Kerala sits a temple unlike any other, Padman Apaswami. It's ancient, majestic, and guarded not just by priests, but by myth itself. Deep within its chambers lie six sealed vaults, all except one eventually opened. Vault B, though, remains untouched. Its entrance is carved with giant cobras, and every story surrounding it drips with warnings. When officials tried to enter in 1931, they reportedly encountered real snakes emerging from beneath the sealed doors, enough to send them running. While the other vaults held vast treasure, gold ornaments, gems, royal artifacts, this final vault is rumored to hold something far greater. Ropes of pure gold, diamond-studded belts, even Napoleon's lost coins. According to Temple lore, Vault B can only be opened by a sacred chant that has long been forgotten. Without it, the doors stay shut. Not for lack of curiosity, but because no one wants to trigger what the carvings warn a curse tied to ancient deities and secrets never meant for the outside world. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your pals, and smack that subscribe button for more content like this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.